Number 76. In the clinical use of ultrasound, transducers are always coupled to the uh, whatever. Letter A. Uh, using the values of acoustic impedance in the table, calculate the intensity reflection coefficient between transducer material and the air. So the intensity reflection coefficient is alpha over here in the formula, okay? Or A. I mean, it's, I've seen it both ways. So A will be equal to the uh, impedance, basically, the acoustical, uh, the acoustic impedance of one value minus the acoustic impedance of another value divided by, and I don't know why I wrote a little i there, divided by then the acoustic impedance of that second material plus that of the first material, and these are both squared, okay? These are both squared terms. So basically just find the absolute difference between the two, add them together, square both results, and you're good to go, all right? Uh, so basically now all we got to do is we're talking about transducer material. So here's the acoustic impedance, right? And then uh, where is the air? Here it is, right? So all we got to do is this. So this is basically 30.8 times 10 to the sixth minus then 429, all divided then by 30.8 times 10 to the sixth plus then 40, uh, 429. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore squared and then this thing squared and then lo and behold just simply calculate okay so this is going to be 30.8 times 10 to the sixth minus then 429 that's squared and then divided now by parenthesis 30.8 times 10 to the sixth plus 4 429 and that whole thing squared and what do we get about 0.9999 right 0.9999 whatever so it's basically one okay and then that's letter A. And now letter B, calculate the intensity uh, between the transducer and the gel. Okay. So it says, and then what does it say? Assuming for this problem that it's acoustic is the same with water. So basically between water and this barium, whatever, right? The transducer material. So I'm just going to do it in the calculator. I'm not going to write it down. I'll say it though. 30.8 times 10 to the sixth, then minus uh, 1.5 times 10 to the uh, sixth. Close those parentheses, square it, then divide it by now, open the parentheses, 30.8 times 10 to the 6th, plus then 1.5 times 10 to the 6th, close those parentheses and square that, and here we're going to get a value then of approximately, for the for part B, the A value here is going to be 0 0.822, or 823 I guess, when you consider rounding. Alright, and then explain why the gel is used, well, why do you think? Right, it matches the impedance better, okay? The the reflection coefficient is lower, all right? And, yeah, cool. All right, guys, thanks for, <laughs> there's less, the, it can penetrate better. That's basically what it is. All right, guys, so thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember, subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye.